I'm still reading Black Sexual Politics by Patricia Hill Collins, and I'm going to read a passage about modern images of Black women. Black women, when we are being used for purposes like getting things done, like organizing, um, starting and finishing projects, we are amazing. However, when we use that same energy for ourselves, being assertive, being confident for ourselves, um, we are denigrated, we're seen as masculine. So only when our efforts are used for other people are they good. When they're used for us, they're bad. And some of these modern images of the Mammy Jezebel sex pot, they are being repackaged for right now. And I'm going to read a couple of passages. I'm going to start at the green. More recent images of black professional women also negotiate the slippery terrain of distancing black women from the assumptions of aggression and sexuality attributed to working class black women while not making black um while not making middle class black women unsuitable for hard work. To address this dilemma, the image of Mammy, the loyal female servant created under chattel slavery, has been resurrected and modernized as the template for black for middle class black womanhood. Maneuvering through this image of the modern mammy requires a delicate balance between being appropriately subordinate to white and or male authority, yet maintaining a level of ambition and aggressiveness needed for achievement in the middle class occupations. Aggression is acceptable just as long as it is appropriately expressed for the benefit of others. Aggression and ambition for oneself is anathema. Modern mammies must be aggressive, especially if they expect to achieve within male-defined ethos of corporations, government, industry, and academia. To get ahead, they must, in some fashion, be bitchy, often with a capital B, yet because of these same qualities simultaneously defeminize black middle-class um, women and mark them with the trappings of working class authentic blackness that is anathema in desegregating settings, middle class black female aggression must be carefully channeled. So, like I said, if we are using that aggression and assertiveness for others, then it's perfectly fine. But just as soon as we start using that to get ahead, or if we may um, go past a white woman or you know, have some successes more than a man, then that is where you like, hold on, hold on, hold your horses there. So it's a double bind for black women.